Internet Explorer because it's not behaving right. Okay, I'm using Chrome, not Internet Explorer. So just kind of hang out a little bit, wait till people get here, and let me know that you're here. Give me some love, send me a little wave. Um, let me know what you're doing tonight, uh, besides watching the most fabulous show on earth, right? <laughs> so I just got done eating a cookie, so I feel like I have cookie crumbs all over my face. <sighs> So it's been a really fun day. Um, did you all see my post about the um, pillow stuffing falling all over our yard? It looked like one of those um, fake snows that you see on like the Hallmark movies when they're showing it snows in Hawaii or something. Yeah, that's what it looked like. I'm like, uh, what is going on? It's March. It's spring. Why are we getting snow? <laughs> and I thought, oh, yeah, I live in Wisconsin. So mm, that's why. <laughs> All right, there I am. Let's see if I can get everything going here. <sighs> so I'm hoping it's all posting in the right places. All right, let me know if you see me or if you're having problems seeing me because there we go. That looks good over there. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to just say hi to myself because I'm talking to myself. All right, I'm not seeing anything up here anywhere. So, there we go. I see someone. Thank you, baby. <laughs> I was going, hmm, I wonder if it's really going today. <laughs> so, did you all happen to see my little notes today? We are going to do a stamp along. And if you don't have stuff ready, that's totally fine because you can watch the video again and stamp along then. So, my... Um, tips I gave you were kind of like a mystery stamping and mystery stamping is really fun I tell you all the products that you need um, you know stamp pads paper give you all the dimensions but then I really don't tell you what we're making we are making cards so don't <laughs> don't worry about that hi Amy hi Beth um, so what you'll need is three pieces of cardstock full sheets so I've got pool party here because I picked out the, oh, the Hostess um, Designer Series paper. And for the life of me, I can't remember what it is. And now you know what? The catalog's going to retire. This is going to go. And I'm going to have to remember a new name. Because, shh, sneak. Ooh, spoiler alert. There's a whole new pack of paper. Hostess paper again. Woo I'm so excited. I love that paper. Okay, so this is the paper I'm going to use. Um, we are going to actually go through. I gave you the dimensions on how to cut things, um, but I am actually going to go through the whole thing and show you how you can make six cards pretty quick, and let's see if we can do it in a half an hour. Not that I have anything planned, and sorry, I'm wiping the cookie crumbs off not only my face, but uh, my table. Um... For some reason, I thought I could eat a chocolate chip cookie right before I went live. I don't know what I was thinking, but mm -hmm. so I got cookie all crumbs all over. <laughs> all right. So in addition to the three pieces of pool party, I do have a piece of granny apple green, um, and this is going to be used for uh, my dye. Um, you can have a punch; it doesn't matter. And then I have a piece of basic white here. And as I'm looking at this paper, I almost think it might be very vanilla. Oh, well, we're going to go with basic white because that's how I planned it. All right, let me flip my camera down. And Cooper, I know that you want to say hi to everybody, but I have to slide into the table. So you're going to have to move your little body. I know, you really don't want to, do you? Okay, so he's not moving quite yet. So take me a moment before I can slide under the table here. <laughs> so um, fun event that happened today. So you know how when you have your day planned and you have everything that you need to do on a certain time schedule and you're excited about getting it all done so you can have the day off of work tomorrow? Mm. Yeah, so my day started. I'm like getting ready to go. I'm like, okay, I've got five minutes before my meeting that I have to attend. I've got to get something to get some coffee and, you know, all sorts of stuff like that. And... Hi, Susie. Who's Susie? Susie, can you say hi? Because I haven't seen you pop through yet. So, anyways, um, 
So I'm all dressed, getting all ready. I'm like, oh, I need socks. I need socks. Hurry up and go in my dresser drawer, grab my socks out, tie my socks on. And of course, because I don't have time to find another pair of black socks, wouldn't you know, I have a hole in the toe. So I'm thinking, okay, I'll just switch feet. And so that hole that's in my big toe will be in my little toe. Mm, yes. Hi, Susie. Welcome. Um, so yeah, so I switch socks. I switch feet. Yeah. The other one has a hole in the big toe too. What the heck? I mean, come on. Really? Yeah. So did I have time to change them? No. And so I'm still wearing them. And now my dog has decided that he's going to pick at my socks. I guess I'm throwing those out right after this video. <laughs> Probably too much information, right? But figure you'll laugh along right with me. Okay, Cooper, you do have to move now. All right. Uh, a couple other things I want to mention before I flip the camera down. Did you check your emails today? Because you would have gotten a listing of all the retiring products. Um, and that is while supply lasts. There are some huge discounts, which I'm really kind of shocked to see. I mean, they have things that... 20%, 40%, and 50% off. And oh my gosh, let me tell you, they are like changing up the whole catalog. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Like some of the most exciting things that I love are going to be gone. So I'll be going through a catalog review on Sunday, uh, one o'clock. I'm going to make it, try to make it under an hour. Um, I'm going to actually open my catalog and I'm going to go through right there with you and go page by page. So grab your catalog grab a highlighter, a pen, whatever you need, and you can write retired down to all the products. And I also have a wish list. I'm hoping I put that in the email. If not, I'll make sure I have it on Facebook page. And after I upload this to YouTube, it'll be on the YouTube description. Um, so make out your wish list. Yeah. Because the other announcement I made was mystery packages. And didn't you love the cute graphic? I didn't post that yet on my Facebook page or my website. I wanted to share that with all of you that are on my email list first. So anyways, I thought that graphic was just adorable. But for those of you that purchase anything in my online store from today through March 31st, um, you got to do it before midnight on March 31st, I am going to be giving away some mystery packages. What's a mystery package? A mystery package is a way for me to get rid of my stash because I've got to make room for more stuff. Mm. So I'm going to gift all of you some mysteries. So it might be cardstock, it might be some embellishments, it might be some ribbon, it might be some stamp sets, it might be some dies. Mm. Probably not punches, only because that's a little bit more expensive to ship and I do have to wait with the the um, packages. But yes, your mystery packages will contain either $30 or $70 worth of fabulous stuff and let me just say some of it may be slightly used um but for the most part mm, it's stuff that you want just saying uh so let's go ahead we'll flip the camera down uh if you have any questions just put them in the comments or if you need to contact me you got my phone number text me you got my email address shoot me an email or just messenger me here on facebook okay let's flip the camera down close your eyes if you get dizzy and where did my camera switch go? There it is. All right. And now we're looking at my desktop and not my... Now, why is that so low? Well, this is going to be um, weird. Weird, weird, weird. <clears throat> so apparently it's not just my internet that's funky today. I guess it's just me. Hmm. Okay. Well, if I get out of video, let me, out of frame, let me know. Um, all right. So let's see. I've got my little clock right here in front of me. It is 750, what, 753? Okay, 753. So we're going to be done by, I'm sorry, it's not 753. It's 653 because I can tell time. <laughs> so by 6, uh, what, 28? Yeah, we'll figure it out. Before 7.30, we'll have these done. All right, so first things first. Let's take our three sheets of pool party. And again, you might have different colors, and that's totally fine. I'm going to go ahead, and we're going to score these. So I'm scoring it first because I want to cut my cards and have my bases really quick and ready to go. So I'm going to score it at four and a quarter. So do that. I'm going to turn it. 
and cut it at five and a half. This way I have both pieces already scored and ready to go. Oh, and I think I might have forgotten to tell you about uh, the inside of the card, or did I? I think, well, maybe I did. All right, well, if I didn't, you'll figure it out. You'll know you need something for the inside. All right. Let's see how fast I can work without babbling too much, because that's never going to happen. All right. I almost went ahead and cut that, so make sure you're using your light gray blade, not your dark one. I did that three times yesterday when I was designing this. I was so mad at myself. Okay, so I've got my card bases there. Next thing I said is we're going to take our designer series paper. And if you have paper that's directional, make sure you're going the right way. You want two inch strips. So let's go ahead and start this. And the reason I am going this way on this, because if you can see this little pattern here, it's got like half circles. Well, the stamp set I'm going to be using is the Measure of Love. And this one is retiring. I'm pretty sad. I really like this set. But I was using the bowl and I thought, oh, how cute. I've got little bowls on my paper. <laughs> I am easily entertained. Just saying. All right. So we'll cut this at two inches. Make sure I have that straight. One, two. All right. Two, two. Ah. All right. So let's last one here. All right. We'll put this piece aside. And now I'm going to turn this and I'm going to slide these in all at one time. I'm going to challenge myself to cut these mm -hmm. at five and a half all at the same time. So the best tip I have for you is get them lined up at your five and a half inch. You know, line your first one up and then line the next two right up next to it. Okay. Hold them down, press your guard down here, and then hold on to that. So you've got this little, left, this little, I don't know, whatever, handle piece. So hold on to that right there. Make sure your paper is flat, and then cut it. All right, so I've got three. Just going to slide these up and do these other three, and then I'll have my six already set to go. And if my trimming's not perfect, I can always trim it a little bit after I get it adhered. So there we go. All right, so I got three little scraps. We're just, we're going to toss those. If you feel so inclined to save those, you can. Now the next thing I do is I'm actually going to be using a couple things. I'm going to be using the layering circles. So I am taking this circle. The reason I'm doing that is because I actually stamped out my project and I know how large my circle is going to be. So that's the one mm -hmm. I picked. And then mm -hmm. I'm bringing in the mm -hmm. Stitch So Sweetly dies because... Mm -hmm. It's a limited time mm -hmm. that I'm going to be able to keep using mm -hmm. these because mm -hmm. I have actually mm -hmm. found out these mm -hmm. are on the retiring list. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I do apologize, mm -hmm. but I mm -hmm. have a phone call coming in and I thought mm -hmm. I went ahead and put mm -hmm. Do Not Disturb on. Mm -hmm. I guess not. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you hear that mm -hmm. beeping, it's because mm -hmm. I am a dork. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. so what I'm going to do now is mm -hmm. I'm just going to take this and figure mm -hmm. out how wide oopsie, mm -hmm. this is so I can cut a couple strips here. So let's just slide this here. And uh, I should probably do it this way so I can see it better. Okay, so I know about, looks to be, ooh, three and three quarters inch will be good. All right, so I'll cut a couple of three and three quarter inches. So will I get three of them out of here? One, two, three, yep. This is going to make it easier on myself when I go to cut. All right. All right, now I've got my white here. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the white. Take my little circle here and figure out how wide that is. And, sorry, that was kind of a way far away from me there. All right, so looks like two and three quarters should be good. So we'll do, well, you know what? This piece is about six inches. I'll just cut it right in half. All right. Because I need six circles as well. I'm going to bring in my die cutting machine. And you've seen me die cut before, so you're just going to see the finished pieces as they roll through. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm going to take my white. I'm going to layer my... <laughs> it's a party in here. I'm going to layer my circle on the white. And I'm going to layer my stitched die on my granny apple green. And hopefully, oh, they're not going to fit. Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you a little secret. I'm going to actually double up my basic white. It's a little thinner than normal cardstock. Um, so I may be able to actually run two through at the same time. Now, when I do that, I want to make sure I have my die more in the, not at the edge of my plate. And what I'm going to need to do is run it through twice. All right. So here's my one. And I'm just holding it down so that it doesn't jump at all. And then here's my two. That way I know it'll cut through and I might just do it one more time. Now, when you're using designer series paper, you definitely can cut through two pieces at the same time. But the thicker cardstock, not so much. All right. So, two down. Four to go. And my circles were small enough that I could have actually used my mini um, cut and emboss or the baby cut and emboss. Um, but you know what? I thought I was going to be able to crank out more of these at one time than I am. So I didn't pull it out. But these dies will fit in your mini cut and emboss. And it's on sale right now. I'm telling you, ladies. If you're thinking about a die cut machine and you're just not sure you want to invest, and one of these large ones, get the mini because the mini is on sale right now. It's on sale to the end of the month, so the 31st, and that could qualify you to get some mystery package. Do, do, do. All right, so now my Granny Apple Green is a thicker cardstock, so I'm only going to be able to cut one layer at a time. So, Susie, how have you been? What have you been up to? And hi, Judith. How are you this evening? All right. So again, join me at Sunday, 1 o'clock Central. And I'm going to go through the catalog, show you what's retiring, let you know what my faves are. And uh, yeah, so that list can be a little confusing. Um, and it's not a list that I generate. I get that right from Stampin' Up! So one of the things on there is there's a whole bunch of little asterisks next to things. Well, that is because when Stampin' Up! retires a bundle, it just, mean, it just means that they're retiring the bundle pricing. Okay, Sometimes they'll retire the whole thing, but a lot of times it's just they're retiring the bundle pricing. So the stamp set and the dies would be available to purchase separately. You just won't get the 10% discount. And we also have the other promotion going, too, where you can get 20% off certain bundles. And some of those bundles that are on sale, mm, those are some of the retiring ones. The What's Cooking, Sweet as a Peach. So sad about that. I'm going to have to make a peach card this weekend. And, in fact, I'm not going to make it a peach. I'm going to make it a plum. I was trying to think about what other colors I could do. I don't know. I'll do the rainbow. Ooh, and then our in colors. So our 2122 in colors are retiring. Uh, get those now. If you need your refills and paper, order it now because you don't want to wait until the end of April. They're not going to last. Just saying. I've seen them go on low inventory already. And when April hits, um, there is no guarantee that you're going to get that. So, and what's kind of nice now is if something goes like they don't have it in stock they don't allow you to order it anymore they don't go on like a back order status it's just not orderable so you will know if your stuff is there um if you do place an order i do have my hostess code there you need to use your host the hostess code to get your mystery package and here's my all my little pieces now all right Let's start with our card bases. We are cruising. I am doing well, Judith. 
I'm having a lot of fun tonight because I really needed to crank out some cards. And I thought, what a better way than to share with you all how I crank them out. So now you've heard me before. If you're making one card, mm, heavens make two. You have to cut your card stock in half anyways. You're going to be ready for two. So I just decided to triple my fun and make six. Okay. So get our card bases done. Let's get out some adhesive. Now, this is where I get slow because I move my stuff around so much. And sometimes I put it away and I don't remember where I put it. Okay. Oh, you know... I am a dork. I cut these wrong. These are supposed to be three inches wide. Hold oh, please while I grab the other piece of paper. That's okay. It'll be done in a gif. All right, so three inches. You know, I'm going to cut it at five and a half first. I'm going to cut this one at five and a half. All right. I'm going to slide these two together here. And because it's thin enough, I can cut both at the same time. Just going to make sure that they're lined up. Oh, and of course, then, I only have four pieces. I'll grab one more piece of designer paper here. Good thing I had quite a few pieces, hmm? All right, so I'll do another three-inch piece here. And, well, at least I got the five-and-a-half side right. That's okay because, you know what, the two-inch strip is something I use pretty often, so it won't go to waste. Oh, heavens, not that big of a piece of designer series paper. <gasps> you can't do that. Okay, let's get this going. So, now, this is where I said if your paper is directional, make sure you're going the correct way. So, I'm going to go ahead and put adhesive here on the top, a little bit on the sides. Again, making sure I'm going the right way. And I'm just going to center this. And in fact, I this is my preference. I like to um, open my card when I'm trying to center my layering. So when I'm doing kind of this mass assembly, I do like to do the same steps all at one time. So instead of like you know, cutting it and then making one card and going back and cutting it again. I like to kind of do an assembly line. All right. Now, remember how I said before, oh, sometimes I don't cut perfect. Well, there we go. Here's a perfect example. Take your scissors and just trim that excess off. No one will know. We'll just leave that out because I'm sure I'll run into it again. All right. So, like I said, I'm doing the assembly line. So I'm just creating my card base all at one time. Then I can do all my stamping at one time. And I'm really excited because you know what else today is? It is the day I get to open another new pack of design of uh, dimensionals. Woohoo! It is always a great day when you get to open more dimensionals because you know that you have been creative and crafting. Yep. I have been really busy making Easter cards. My goal is to get all our little, the little nieces and nephews, a little card in the mail. I'm usually not really good with that. <laughs> Even though I make a ton of cards, I, you know, um, I'm sometimes terrible about getting things in the mail. And you know what it is, is because I spend so much time in my studio here or at my <clears throat> home office, that I don't run out as much. So I don't get to the post office as much. Yeah, that's my excuse. That's what I'm going with. And I just realized I did this one upside down. Oh, no, I didn't. <sighs> okay, we're on the sixth one here. And we're not doing bad for time, ladies. All right. I'm really excited because Barbara is going to come up and stamp with me tomorrow. And Barb, I'm going to plan to go do some grocery shopping in the morning to make us a really good lunch. I think I'm going to do probably like a Caesar salad with some chicken. Okay. All right. So now I've got my card bases. I'm going to just bring back in my bone folder really quick. 
and give those a press so they're sitting nice and flat. All right, now I have a photopolymer stamp. So does everyone know what that means? I mean, a photopolymer stamp is a clear stamp. You can see through it, kind of. But it means that I have to make sure I bring out my paper piercing mat, which, ooh, they put back in the catalog for the next catalog. Just saying. All right. I'm going to grab my little circles now because we are going to do our stamping. Oh, it looked like there was two. I guess there wasn't. Okay. So let's grab some stamps here. And I'm going to start with, I'm going to move that off to the side. I'm going to use my little bowl, my uh, my outline of my bowl, my bowl, my little cherry sleeves, and my little cherries. So these are what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to put this off to the side. And we'll grab this first. All right. So when I do this, because this is um, like the outline for my bowl, I like to just drop it on my work space and then pick it up with my block that way that stamp isn't all twisty and turvy curvy so I make sure that I have the right image so now I'm going to bring in not pear pizzazz I'm looking for granny apple green because I think that is one of the most prettiest colors now it's not a color I would wear but I love the color when I'm doing projects I just like the brightness um, and I'm going to be using poppy parade and Pool party. Okay. I've got a whole big napkin full of crumbs next to me that keep getting on my project stuff. So excuse me while I take care of that. I don't normally eat at my stamping table. It's kind of a thing I have. I don't want it to be such a mess because <laughs> I make a mess as it is. Okay. Enough talking. Go on here. All right. So I'm going to stamp Granny Apple Green. And I'm going to stamp the bottom of my bowl right here. So I'm going to do all my bowls first. I love that this bowl has like a flat bottom. It almost makes it seem like they were really thinking about that. Now, if you don't have this stamp set, you know, use the stamp set that you have. Just make sure that your circle is going to be big enough. All right, so we've got that done. We'll close that for now. We're going to come back to that color in just a moment. I'm grabbing my little bowl here, so I'm going to put that down. And I'm going to grab my pool party. Now, I am going to have to move this down a little bit, so it might go off camera for a moment. But what I'm going to do is I'm looking through my stamp here to line it up with those edges. And I like to be over the top of my project when I'm doing this so I can get it lined up. So again, I'm just sorry I'm siding in this out of view. I guess I'm kind of in view. I know, I'm concentrating. I stopped talking. Sometimes when I'm trying to layer stuff, I have to concentrate because otherwise talking and layering doesn't work for me. Just saying. It happens. Know what your strengths are and know what your weaknesses are, right? Okay. I can tell you my kryptonite is stamping up. <laughs> I, <coughs> I cracked myself up there for a minute. I'm going to take my little cherries here and put that right on my block. And I'm going to stamp in Poppy Parade. Now, this can be kind of dark, so we are going to take a poll here. Let me bring in my scrap. Full strength or stamped off. I kind of like the full strength. That's what I'm going to go with. Sorry, I didn't take a poll. <laughs> you, it's okay if you join late. That's not a problem. All right, so again, this, I'm just looking at the um, bottom of my cherries to line it up with the top of that bowl. So I'm just kind of looking through here. Ta-da! That is one of the best things about photopolymer stamps and clear blocks. 
You know, when photopolymer stamps first came out, I was like, oh, no way. I love my red rubber and wood. But, you know, I've really kind of grown fond of them. I still do like the red rubber. I feel a lot of times with larger and bolder images, I get a better stamped image. But if you're using a nice cushion underneath, you should be out good. All right. So we'll clean that off because I'm going to use this block again. And now this time we're going to pull in the little stems for our, of course, I got red on me. Red attracts to my fingers, red and black. I don't know why. All right. We're going to do the tops of our cherries now. So again, I'm just going to look through and I'm going to press. And you know what? It doesn't have to be exact. It's okay if it's not perfect. Because that just makes it more personable, right? Because I know I am far from perfect and I don't think I've ever stamped a perfect project. But they sure do turn out pretty sometimes. Okay. Alrighty, so we've got our most of our stamping done now. Um, oh, I have a little smidge up there. Oh, well. Well, I'll show you how to hide that. Um, I am going to grab the sentiment here now that says, Sweet Friend. So I'm going to pick that up just like that. And I'm going to stamp right on top. Now, I'm going to put that one aside because I need to do something because I got that little bit of green on the top. And while you all might not have seen it, I did. And it's enough to bother me. So, and the reason I got that is because um, this is a larger block than my stamp, and I was rocking it in my stamp pad. So these stamp pads are really gushy. I guess is the best word. So if you're rocking your block, you're going to end up with ink all around. So, don't rock the block. I'm just singing that song, you know, don't rock the boat, don't tip the boat over. Okay. All right, so how are we going to fix that boo-boo? Well, there's a couple of things we could do. We could take the little ink eraser, eraser, which I'm just, I'm not going to do. But I'm going to go ahead and go like this, just across my stamp pad. And I'm going to, in different areas, go a little further on there. Almost like it was meant to be. Okay. So now I see it's still seeing a little bit. So I'm going to brush a little more here. Okay. There we go. So I'm just getting a little bit more on that. Okay. This is where your fingers can get pretty messy. Just saying. So if you want to have clean, uninked hands, then don't do this. All right. But that's a way to hide your little mistake. That and actually, I was just thinking, oh, I could have put a bow right on the top. All right. I'm going to put that one aside to dry. Make sure I don't have ink all over my fingers. And I'm going to put my stamps away because I am pretty much done with that one right now. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and bring in those other die cut pieces. Ooh, and I'm almost near time. And let's go ahead and I'm going to, what am I going to do first? I am going to just go ahead and put some adhesive right in the middle of my circle here. <clears throat> I need a drink of something. And we'll put this right on the die. Now, my circle doesn't completely fit on that die but that's okay so i got a little bit showing mm, no one's really gonna notice because it's such a sweet card they're gonna be so excited to get it in the mail that they're not gonna want to care they won't care just saying all right and any of you out there if you haven't signed up for my birthday card program you'll want to do that because you want to get a hand stamp birthday card don't you no obligation, nothing requiring you. I don't sell your email address. I don't give your email address or your address out or anything. 
You don't even have to tell me how old you are. Just let me know the day of your birthday. Oh, well, that's a little crooked, but all right. That's all right. Um, just so I know if your birthday is like March 15th, I need to know it's on March 15th. You don't have to tell me the year. I am okay with that. However, if you do want to tell me the year, you can do that too. And maybe you'll get a special, a special little card. All right. So there we go. Next thing I'm going to do is pull out my new dimensionals. Yip, yip. Let's just rip this open. How exciting. It's like opening up the present. I'm so excited. It doesn't take much to excite me. All right. So I'm going to flip all these over just like this. So I have them all laying right out in front of me. And I'm just going to one. I'm going to put four on each one. We should have started with that back row. <laughs> uh, you know, even when I'm like frosting cupcakes or something, I don't know why. I start with the front row when it's in the cupcake pan. What am I thinking? Why am I not going and reaching to the back first? Because, you know, when you do that, you get frosting all over your arms. <sighs> yep. I'm keeping it real. All right. Now, let's challenge ourselves, and I'm going to grab my Take a Pick tool, and let's see how many, oops, not with that end, let's see how many of these backings I can actually pick up at once. So one. Oh, I'm failing already. Three. Again, I'm just doing this whole assembly line. Okay. See? I <laughs> do the back ones first, Beth. Hmm. All right. So, I'm <laughs> trying to do this quick and it's not working for me. Just take a little time. Lift it off. You ever have that problem where you're in a hurry and it just, this happens? <laughs> Cracking myself up. I wish I could hear all of you giggle with me. Maybe we'll have to do some Zoom meetings on Facebook so that we can all giggle together. What do you think? Would you like to do that? Would that be something that people would be interested in? All right, so now I'm just going to start putting these on the front of my card. It's right there. Uh oh. Okay. And I realize I'm not really done with my stamp set. I need to stamp my envelopes. I need to actually pull my envelopes out. Oh, can't believe I forgot envelopes. No naked cards. And I'm still, oh, I'm right at time. Okay, we got our cards done though. So, I that was really good. Okay, I didn't uh, get the inside done though. Oh. <sighs> Failure. All right, let's do our inside real quick. I do have everything cut and ready to go. So. Okay, so there's our six insides. Let's grab our piercing mat again. Oh, there goes one on the floor. <clears throat> so I just have them stacked up here. And I'm just going to, I'm going to go ahead and stamp Sweet Friend. Um, let's do, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. You more than measure up. And then I'm going to put the little scale on the bottom. Actually, our friendship tips the scale is kind of cuter sentiment because we're going to stamp this and I need a larger block so let's get our larger block and I need the smaller block so yeah I didn't plan the inside of my cards can you tell <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and stamp my you know I'm going to stick kind of with the green so we'll go ahead and grab our green here 
and I'm going to stamp the scale in Pool Party. So I think I'm going to stamp my scale first, and I'm going to do one at a time here. So I'm going to stamp this right in the middle on the bottom. No, no I'm going to stamp it right there. I decided to stamp it on the side. Now I could use a darker color too. I could have used the granny apple green to do that or even the red. In fact, I'll do one in red just to see how it's going to look. And not red, poppy parade. Let me get my colors correct. Ooh, I kind of like that better. No worries, because Stampin' Up! makes reversible paper. It's amazing! And I think I stamped one too many. Okay, that's done. Now let's go ahead and bring in our sentiment. Now, got to think about this. Don't want the hair. I don't know that I want to do green because it's kind of like Christmassy, and but that's not what the look I'm going for. So I think I will do my pool party again. I could definitely pull in Coastal Cabana or Bermuda Bay. Or even black. So I'm just going to put right next to a scale. Our friendship tips the scale. Oh, I'm off the screen, aren't I? Sorry. All right. So now we got those done. We'll go ahead and quickly put them on the inside of the card. We'll stamp our envelope and ooh, we'll be done. So just a titch over the half hour mark. But hey, that extra one minute, wasn't it worth it? Just saying. Oh, and you know what else I could do? So I didn't think about this, but there is this little tiny little piece here that would make the scale. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in my small little black because I can tell that I will wiggle if I don't. In fact, I'm going to use my skinny one. So if you're wondering what size black that is, it is a size G. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take this. And we'll go ahead and use our pool party again. So I want to just gently tap on there and I'm going to look through and there's a little dot in the middle of my stamp. So I'm going to line that dot up with this dot right here. Close enough. That one turned out pretty good. Yes, I'm going to be very sad to see this set go. I really, I played with it a lot when I first got it, and then I kind of put it on my shelf and forgot about it. So sad. All right, let's go ahead and hear these in the inside of the card. Then we'll do our envelope real quick. So these pieces, originally I was going to be having this four by five and a half, or four by four, four by five and a quarter. Um, I think I mixed and matched and I have a couple of them that are um, three and three quarters by five. Because what I do is I actually cut a whole bunch of my white and my vanilla up so I have it right here and ready to go anytime I need it and I just grab from that stack. So they're probably not all the same size. It's all good. 
Oh, look, we got a little piece we need to trim. I mean, how fast was this? I mean, realistically, it's what, <clears throat> six cards. So we'll, we'll look at four, we'll say 40 minutes instead of 30. We'll even go 42. Seven minutes a card. That is pretty darn fantastic. I tell you, when I first did my design too, it actually went really fast. I'm like, oh, I'll just do this, this, and this. Sometimes, I don't know, creativity just. That bug just bites me. I'm like, ooh, I know exactly what I want to do. Other times, I am just like anyone else going, hmm, what is it that I want to do? You know, on those days when I get a itch to craft, but I don't know what it is that I want to do, I will just cut my cardstock. You know, I'll prep up some card bases. I'll do like the white and vanilla there. I'll cut a bunch of that up. And then sometimes I'll get a creative idea. Other times I'm like, well, at least I'm ready for when I decide to do something. All right, let's put our envelopes in. Make sure I have all these going the right way. Because to me, there's nothing worse than stamping your envelope upside down. Okay, so I did that for a couple of my Christmas cards. I realized I stamped it upside down. <laughs> so my flap was down here, so I stamped the bottom. I'm like, oh, well. So I just addressed it upside down then, too. Yeah, <clears throat> and the people I sent it to got a kick out of it because they, they called me. So, did, do you realize you stamped that upside down? Yes, well, yes, I did, but thank you for sharing that with me. All right, and uh, just to make it quick on myself, I'm going to take these little flowers, and that's what I'm going to stamp with. So it's going to be very fast to whip out these envelopes. And I'm going to go ahead and use my Poppy Parade. Yeah, I'm going to here. Oh, I know I'm being a little risky by not having my mat down. See, and that's what happens. You don't get a nice solid image, but I'm just actually kind of too lazy to pull it out. It's right next to me. There's no excuse, right? But mm, yeah, sometimes. Okay. And now you all know that when you stamp with red ink, you need to let that sit before you move it, because I don't know what it is, but the red ink, it doesn't matter what brand of ink, red ink has a tendency to take longer to dry. I have no idea why. Maybe it's just all the more pigment that's in there. I don't know. But sometimes it just takes a bit longer to dry. My stamp wanted to stay there. All right. So, tomorrow night is our paper pumpkin party, our PJ party. Get your PJs on and come stamp with me. Pull out your paper pumpkin kit. I will make one of each project like they design, and then I'll start playing. Just coming up with different things. Now, this month's paper pumpkin kit had two stamp sets in it. Mm-hmm. They're cool. I know some people may not have gotten their paper pumpkin kit, and I'm so sorry you haven't. There were some shipping delays. They actually, the products, it did actually come into port. The problem was they had no trucks to drive it from the port to Stampin' Up. So that's why things were delayed. But they'll come. It'll be worth it. So tomorrow, while Barbara's here, that's what I'm going to be playing with. Because I just got it the other day. Um, I haven't had a chance really to play a whole lot with it. So, yep. So, here are my six cards and my little envelope. Hope you enjoyed that. Let me show you my uh, practice card. So, I just did this one. It's same paper. I just switched up the colors. And I have seen, like, the yellow um, cherries. So, I thought, oh, that would still work, even though it's pale papaya. Sometimes you just got to go with it, right? Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed these cards. I know it was a really fast night. Um, let's see what else I can share with you. We should probably put some embellishments on since I have them right here next to me. And I'm not quite ready to end. We're going to pull out our ir iridescent rhinestones. So let's put some of those on. I grab my take pick tool. Oh, my putties needs a little refreshing. All right, and... 
I'm going to put one down here. And I'm just going to randomly put these on a card. No rhyme or reason. Just going to kind of throw them on there. <clears throat> and they've got some large ones. They've got some medium ones. They've got some small ones. You can put more than three on if you like. But because I do so many um, videos and card classes, I sometimes have to kind of, I don't want to say be chintzy, but sometimes I need to limit because I don't always have a whole lot more on hand. And then when I need them, I don't have them. Oh, that's not a good place for that one. Let's move that one down there. There we go. All right. Yeah, I, I, I am a fan of Pale Papaya. I am really glad that that is not the retiring color this year. Because I think I'd be kind of heartbroken. I really do love it. So we'll put some on this one too. And I love these iridescent um, rhinestones here. Because you know what? They I'm going to put a bunch on here. I'll put one over here. They kind of go with whatever color you're choosing. So based on the way you place it on your card, what colors you used on your card, and how you hit the light, it looks like all different colors. Yeah. Okay, so I've got a couple fun things to share now. Uh, let's get our Stampin' Stuff out of the way. Our little stack. Okay. So tell you what, share this video. Share it with someone right now and put in the comments that you shared and the first name of who you shared it with. And maybe I'll send you one of these cards. I'll need your address, so you'll have to PM me your address if I don't have it. Okay, let's get out some card swaps that I have. Now, card swaps are, I've gone over this before, but what it is, is I make... This is exactly what I do. I make a stack of cards and then I send them to the coordinator and the coordinator will send me the same number of cards back. But I'll get all different cards and so I have the same, basically the same six back. I'll get six different cards back. It's really fun. And as demonstrators, we do it in large groups. Um, when we used to have in-person conventions, I would make probably over 150 of them. So... Here is the um, Rainbow of Happiness. Now, keep in mind uh, that this is going to be our class to go for April. And Rain Boots is our club. So I'm going to officially kick off club tomorrow. Um, you can always use your purchase of your stamp set for club and class towards the $50 to get some free stash. Hello, friend. Oh, this is one of the uh, retired ones from uh, Celebration. Now, this one's really cute. Now, this is the Otter, Otterly Awesome card, but it's using the, um, give it a whirl. And, oh, I like how she put that little arrow there. But you just turn this, and you get all sorts of different little images as you turn that. Isn't that cool? Well, kind of hard for me to turn this one. That's pretty fun, though. That was from Melba Tucker. Oh, and this is another celebration one. I wonder if I have my celebration stack here. So this is pretty cool. Uh, used one of our embossing folders on the back and just did multiple layers. And those are those iridescent rhinestones that I just used. And this is from Janice Erke. Uh, this is the Common Camilla card. Look how easy this one is. So all she did is take the, I believe this is Coastal Cabana. Uh, she just stamped the same color on the color cardstock. And then she has a slight layer of smoky slate and then the white where she stamped that again. I don't know if that's Coastal Cabana or Mint Macaron. I can't really tell. I think that be, might be the mint. All right. <clears throat> Another one with the Common Camilla, and that was a celebration one. And this is the strip of designer series paper that is in the, I don't know, the one that has the honeybee, the home... The heart and home uh, suite. 
Oh, this one looks pretty cool. So this is uh, using the Daffodil Afternoon Designer Series paper. So if you are lucky enough to order the Easter Friends March Class to Go, you will have some extra cardstock or uh, extra Designer Series paper that you can use to make some of those. And okay, another rainbow one. This is the Rainbow of Happiness uh, or Rainbow and Sunshine paper. Um, this is going to be my gift to you with the Rainbow of Happiness class that I'll be doing. Um, I'm going to be giving you uh, 12 pieces of designer series paper as a freebie. Okay, those are celebration ones. Let's see what else I have in here. Oh, this is cute. This is one of those little gift boxes. And actually, I had gotten another one from Rhonda Wade. Um, I had taken one of her classes, and so she sent me this cute little one. These little boxes are in the July to January. No, <laughs> no, no. In the current mini catalog. I don't know why. January to July mini catalog. But you can get these little sweet treat boxes. <coughs> Excuse me. Too much talking. This is our... Um, Oh, this is in the mini catalog as well. And I can't remember the name of the stamp set. Beautiful Moments? No, that's not it. I can't remember. But it's just a uh, great sun, uh, sorry, a great outline image. So if you like to have a very clean card, you just stamp with one color. Otherwise, you can color this in. It's beautiful when you use blends or watercolor pencils. It's really, a, really pretty images in there. Oh, let's see here. That, oh, so this is our Tulip Fields um, suite. So you got this awesome paper. And then this is the Tulip Fields stamp set. So this stamp set, I just got the dies for. It just came today. So look forward to some samples with this. I don't believe this is going to be in the next catalog. So it's going to be one of those that end... Um, in May. Oh, and here's another one. How awesome is that? And I'll put these up on my website so you get some ideas. And this one's from Susan Nygaard, and this one was from uh, Oksana Siminska. What else I have here? Oh, and here's another one from that Tulip Fields paper. Really love that paper. Oh, and then we have some really cute ones now. So this is the Happy Hedgehogs. And look at how she used the little butterflies, the brass butterflies on that card. Isn't that cute? I'm going to have to try this out. I haven't played around with using an embossing folder to make the top of the hedgehog. Almost makes it look like a little porcupine, hey? Um, let's see. Oh, sending lots of love. So this is um, one of the stamp sets in the mini catalog. And then, look at this one. How cute is that? That is the Cactus Cuties. Uh, and there will be an upcoming class on this one. So you get the stamp set and the punch. And this is from the Plentiful Plants uh, Designer Series paper. So, okay, Amy, I see that you shared. Who else shared there? Yes, and sometimes I need to make simple cards fast cards just because I need to get some cranked out and you know sometimes they're my most favorite cards um, I don't always do the most intricate ones um, while I am an avid stamper I don't know I I like my quality and I like doing quantity as well I just I need to do that um, yeah sometimes when there's sets and everything that have a lot in them I get easily distracted with them it doesn't mean that they're, you know, not awesome sets. Uh, I just have a challenge with them sometimes. So, uh, and there's some in there, like Pansy Patch. Beautiful set. I love it. I just don't have the patience to sit and play with it. I wish I did. Because some of the cards that people have made are just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, last card I'm going to share with you. And this is kind of just another little promo uh, for my Flowering Rain Boots um, Club. So this is a card that I made, one of these little like shadow cards. Look how easy it is. It sits flat and it will fit inside a regular envelope. So here's the envelope. 
And look at it'll fit right in there. Isn't that cute? Um, I think we'll actually probably do this maybe, maybe next week we'll do this card. I haven't decided if it's going to be on hump day lunch break or if I'm just going to do it uh, on Thursday night. We'll see. I'm going to surprise you all. So, all right. Well, I'm going to head out. I'm going to go make some dinner and enjoy some family time. Have a great evening. Have an awesome weekend. Uh, check back in on Sunday. Oh, well, well, I'll be here for a pajama party tomorrow night. Get your jammies on. Get your paper pumpkin kit and join me right back here on my stamp studio. And on Sunday, we'll go through the catalog. We'll take a look at some of that retiring stuff. I can't believe acetate boxes are going away. Oh. I love those. I use those all the time. In fact, I would actually take an acetate box and give this as a gift with my envelopes. So you put these in. And this is actually what I do for my girls for Christmas. So I actually make these boxes. I make, decorate the box and I give them a stack of cards for Christmas. So, yeah, just some ideas. Lots of products are 50% off. If you haven't checked out that list, jump over to my website www.mystampstudio.com uh, Look for a post from today. I put it out there and there should be a link to a PDF file that you can download. Um, I separated it out. It only has like the English um, stamp sets. So if you need the French ones, uh, I'm sorry, I took them out. Uh, but you can find them on my, my store. Um, what else? Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, if you need to get on my email list, make sure that you are because that way you get all the advanced notices of what's going on. Um, also, if you are looking to get a catalog, make sure you send me an email, send me a request because I am doing our catalog selector and I have to have it all completed by March 31st. So that is when I send, when I sign up to have everyone sent a catalog. So I will put that link in the description of the video in just a few moments. So it'll all be there for you. Have a great weekend. See you later.